Hello guys, welcome back to this one crazy video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you this new celebrity booking platform. So this um, website has a feature of um, user can book celebrity and user can book celebrity and me have full access, full control by the website and um, that is just basically how this site works. So this is actually the front end of the website. So this is it. The front end of the website. It's all the celebrity. Then if you click on the about, we about the website. I'm going to go through this then this is the logo. Then contact us page. We have the um, details as email of the website. Then if you click on here and book so you can book all the celebrities so let's say for example now i want to book this celebrity i click on book celebrity just wait for it to load you can see the details about the celebrity you can see the twitter name facebook name um the price that booking fee so booking fee is from 100 dollars to 4,194 well, so if you click um, about this Ricky Martin live issue, it take you straight to Wikipedia state about this particular celebrity. So you click on book celebrity now. Just say okay. Celebrity you want to book us say um uh, meet and greet because you can say uh, I want to book. So this particular page is actually a uh, message for celebrity. Yeah, the message Want to attach to me have booking celebrity. So this place actually the you can actually put your name here. So let's say user. Then your re email. Um, you should make sure to make sure to use your re email because it's where um actually be contacted. So for this this as a demo video, uh, video so I could just write user Gmail account. So you can click on book celebrity. Then you can see please wait while we are processing your request. And let's give it time to load. You can see book sent booking sent to you very shortly. So it took us back in. So basically this is how the front end looks. So let me take out to your admin side. You can actually have full access to it. So you can actually see that this side is actually responsive for mobile screen as you can see here. Um, so it's fully responsive for all mobile device. So you can see. So to the admin side now. Okay. So this is the admin, the admin dashboard. So this place can see the all celebrity in the website. So you can see the image, the celebrity name, the tag, data are there, and then you can edit and also delete a particular celebrity. So for this place now. This way you can click on here. You can add celebrities. So you can add the name, the image, the booking fee. So from so you can say from one thousand dollars to like fifteen thousand dollars. So about the celebrity, you can have the um, Wikipedia link, then the Facebook link and Twitter link. So click here now, pending booking. So this is actually the place to see all the bookings for the particular. Celebrity, so this celebrity, so this face is my some of those stuff. Then, yes, accounts. Then, you can actually edit the admin details so you can change the name to anything you want in the password. That's how basically how this works. So, for this now, let's add the celebrity in here for test. So, the celebrity name can be let me see user test. Then the celebrity image. So let me see if I have an image here. So okay, let me just pick uh, just a random image. Okay, pick this. Then tag them. Let's say um, fun or let's say meet and greet. Meet and greet. Sorry, meet and greet. Then it. Then you can see um, booking fee. So it's from one hundred dollars to say five thousand dollars. Oh, 
sorry, five hundred dollars. Then the bus celebrity, okay, let's see. Upcoming, upcoming celebrity. Celebrity, so, um, that's it. So you can just put the Wikipedia link. So you can just say Wikipedia. Let's say Wikipedia. Com. Then we say the Facebook link. See Facebook. Com. So you should know that this will actually be the correct URL to the celebrity profile on the platform. So Twitter link. Let's see Twitter dot com. So this is actually a test work. So you can click on submit. Okay, new celebrity address. So so okay. Then you can see the celebrity. Um, where is the celebrity? Comment LLC. Okay, so you should wait for it to load and you can see. Okay, this man here. So meet and greet them. That is it. So if you go back to the uh, user side, so if you refresh this page right now, you actually see. Um, let, me just use, let me use the mobile screen for this. So to refresh this page now, you actually see okay, this is mine. This one added just one. So you can just click on book celebrity. Then you can see this is by celebrity. You can see upcoming celebrity, then the fee. Not on the last to add on the last. So if that's celebrity live, I take the link, the bigger link. Click on book celebrity, um, the same process. Basically, that's how it is. So you can actually come back to the admin and uh, back to the admin and actually edit those details. So click on edit and um, okay, you can see uh, the name of celebrity, then you can change this name as you want. So let's say reduce this price to 500. I want to to five hundred dollars to click on submit. Then you test this really okay. Then go back to mobile screen and refresh here. You can see that um, the price has already updated. So basically, this how the sites. This is how the site works. So in the next video, how uh, we next part now is to show you guys how to install this for your clients or for yourself so so check out to show you guys how to install this for yourself so after you've gotten your domain name and hosting and your cpanel details log into your cpanel and take it straight to this page so look for fire manager okay come that Take you straight to this page and click on public underscore HTML. Then click on upload. Then this part actually to select where the zip file is. So if you click on here and uh, look for the zip file, you see I think I have it here. Um, okay, this is it. And click on. Okay, just wait for it to load. Um, we have actually. We have really, have to wait for this um, part to show green. So if it does not show green, um, don't cancel anything. You should just leave it. So let's just wait for it to just upload. Okay, uh, it's almost done. Okay, as I see, it's actually green. So you can also um, cancel this tab. Okay, and refresh this place to load. Uh, Okay, for this um, video, actually a test. So I'm going to upload this side folder. So if I click on extract, let's see extract here. Um, wait for it to load. Okay, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Okay, as you can see, okay, that's uploaded and click on close. So this is actually the 
folder and it in it so it's this to actually access this will be your domain name slash the folder name so if you're not opening the folder you can just put it into the I put it in here so you can just say um, select all then if you click on move then remove it from the folder so you can just clean this folder then leave that is in place move so if you just set your domain name actually show that so for this i'm not doing that here okay so next thing to do now is to set up our database connection so um first thing first go back to this part here search for my sql okay database wizard click on that okay it's loading okay then yeah, i need the part to name create our database so i can just name it and um, say um okay let's see celebrity celebrity test i go next step then say celebrity test user then click on password generator copy this password and keep it somewhere um, I have copied this password and you see, click on use password after that you touch create user then click on all privileges click on that then make changes just wait for it to load okay while that is loading go back to your file look for db.php click on edit Okay, then, uh, okay, this one has actually finished. Then come in here, then the password I said you copy just now. Just paste this here, the password. Then go back here, copy the user. So just copy everything. Then go back to db.php. But I db user, so just change it to user then do the same thing for the database name just copy this and paste it here okay then click on save so that's all for db connection then next thing is to do now is to upload our sql so click on this sql folder then Square folder, then double click this to so download in your computer. Then, after that, go back here, then click on search, search for PHP my admin. So, the TB name actually created was a um, celebrity test, so click on that. They click on import so this part actually selects where the sql file is so um just hold a second so click on browse uh let's see okay this is the sql file and click open then after that click on import just wait for it to load okay while that's loading the next thing to set up is actually our SNTP so that users can actually receive me anytime the book is celebrity so to get that you click on contacts then click on functions then click on edit okay 
Okay, it's loading, it's loading. Okay, just load. So the next thing to create now is our details. So create our email, our webmail. So click on the search bar, email accounts. Then click on create. So this can just be any name that I say info. Then password, you can generate a password. So let me just generate a password in the copy this password. Make sure you copy this password. Then click on create. Okay, already exists. So uh, let's use a uh, no reply. reply then copy this same password and click on create okay it's building it's building let's give it time Okay, it has actually created. So, just um, go back to this function page. Uh, move this and move this and paste the password in here. Then the main name we create. The email name was um, no reply. So just copy this, paste it um, in here. Okay, sorry, that was a mistake. Okay, place that in here. And then your domain name. So just put that here. Then put the same thing here. No reply. Then same thing here. No reply. Then this is actually the um, like a subject for the email. You can just name it bookings or anything you want. So basically that is how to set up your SNTP. So the SNTP post can be 465 or 587. Then the SNTP secure can be SSL or TSL. So that is it. So just click on save. Then you are done with the SNTP you can just cancel this. So let's check out our back our SQL. Okay, as you can see the file has really uploaded. So that is how to set up this site. So see you in the next video. Bye for now.